Good morning, my dear students. Today I am going to teach you exercise 3G, page number 55 to 57. So take out page number 55 from your textbook. Exercise 3G. Properties of addition. Properties of addition means when we add which all properties we are using that I will be discussing now in this video. Okay. This is divided into three parts. Number one, order property. Number two, grouping property. And number three, zero property. I'll be explaining number one first, then two, then three. three. Okay. Order property of addi addition. Remember, order property you can use when two numbers you were adding. Suppose 3 plus 5. Two numbers you are adding. So, 5 is the bigger number, 3 is here, 5, 6, 7, 8, answer is 8. This is the order 3 plus 5. Now I am going to change the order, 5 will come here and 3 will go here. So 5 plus 3 is equal to Again 5, 3 is here, 5, 6, 7, 8, answer is 8. In order property, when we change the order, result will be always same. So we can write like this, this equal to this, 8 is 8, so 3 plus 5 equal to 5 plus 3, we can write. So like 3 plus 5 equal to 5 plus 3. 3. This is called order property. When we add two, two numbers, we can change the order and what we are getting, we are always getting the same result. So, we can equalize this. Okay. Now, number 2 is grouping property. Grouping property of addition. If we add more than three numbers, then we uh, use this property. Okay. More than two numbers. Like uh, 5 plus 4 plus 2 equal to 2, 3. So, more than two numbers, we are adding 
so we will be using this property when we got horizontally addition we will first we will write in column 5 4 2 plus now we can make group first we cannot add all three digits together right first we have to add this two or this two first then the third number right so let me add these two first 5 plus 4 5 4 is here 5 4 6 7 8 9 plus 2 as we are coming down so we will be writing the answer here 9 plus 2 9 10 11 okay first we have added this two then we are coming down so we are writing answer here now we can make this two first group so we will be writing 4 5 6 6 here plus 5 so answer I will be writing on top because we are going upward direction while adding we are coming downward so I have written answer here here after adding we are going upward direction so I will be writing answer here now 6 after 6 5 is where here 6 7 8 9 10 11 answer I will be writing here 11 just see so total answer is 11 now what I have learned if we add this three number making two groups first this group plus this or second this group plus this in the both cases I have got same answer like these two first I have added 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 again I have made this two one group first so I have got 4 4 5 6 6 and plus 5 correct so I got I am coming here 11 right first these two plus this I have got answer now these two I have got answer we can write now like this as 11 11 the answers I can easily write 9 plus 2 that is sorry not 9 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 first I made one group plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 2 understood this one group plus this is equal to one group plus this this is called grouping now third is zero property of addition zero property of addition suppose how many of you have eaten rasgullas tell me do you love to eat rasgullas yes in one plate four rasgullas another plate is empty and another plate 
has three, four, five rasgullas. So we will be putting all rasgullas in one plate. One, two, three, four. Let me put this four rasgullas here first. Four, five, six. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now let me count how many rasgullas are there in this plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine rasgullas here. Five rasgullas. Here, one, two, three, four rasgullas. Nothing is there. So that means we will write zero. Zero doesn't have any value, but if it is empty, we have to write mathematically, we have to write zero. So we will add now four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. We are adding zero with these two numbers, but result we will get only the addition of these two numbers okay means if we add zero with any number answer will be that number itself okay so let me uh, start with the exercise now Hmm. Question number one, missing numbers. Missing numbers. Oh, uh, B four plus six equal to dash plus 4 so here we are changing the order this is order property just see 4 came to this place and 6 will come to this place now f not f i Five zero three plus one eight three plus ninety four equal to five hundred and three plus dash plus ninety four. <clears throat> now, what will be here? This is which property? Bolo, this is grouping property just see three numbers are there first this group they have added and then in this side the other group they have added right so 503 503 now 183 is missing 183 g uh, f 0 plus 2 2 5 is equal to dash any number if 0 is adding with any number result will be that number itself that is 2 to 5 I think you have understood now this is 0 property now question number 2 fill in the blanks Question number two, find the sum. B, six, nine, seven, plus. First, this group will make, we will add, make this group, we'll add this. So six plus, 9, 9, 6 is here, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
15 plus 7 15 after 15 7 is here 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so answer where we will write because it is coming downwards this plus this so we will be writing answer here now 6 9 7 plus if we add first this part that means 9 7 is here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 plus 6 we are going upward direction so answer we will not write here we will be writing answer here now 16 after 16 6 is here 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 okay see answer is same so i think you have understood this lesson now i'll be giving you one sum we, we will be doing now in the class Mm. Fill in the blanks. Number one, mm. two, four, three plus zero equal to. And you have to tell me which property you are going to use here. Number 2, hmm, 7, 2, class, hmm, dash equal to 8, 1, plus 7, 2. Which property? Now third one, hmm, 4, plus 8, plus 9 is equal to 4 plus 8 plus dash. Now these three you solve now and you have to tell me which property you have used and solved. Okay, this much for today. Thank you and have a nice day.